it seems almost that I don't need to introduce myself, that everybody knows me. Although watching Tom present himself, I kind of feel really old, you know, because I go back to R2. <laughs> I joined SEP back in 1992 when, you know, everything was still black and green and everything was still in German. You know, and I don't, I think at the time there was one UK company using SEP, which is hard to imagine now. And I've kind of lived through this revolution where I think I'm employee number 2,766. You know, and we're quite a lot bigger now. And we're quite a lot more international. But this is, this presentation, this product costing piece is taking me straight back to my roots. I got hired to talk about product costing. I got hired, I'm actually a translator. I, I've got a language degree rather than an accounting degree. Kind of confuses people sometimes. And I got hired, you know, these dreadful long German words. I was meant to convert them into English. You know, at a time when there was no Wikipedia, there was no internet, there was half a dozen business dictionaries. So I apologize to those of you who had to struggle through those early days of R3. I did eventually start writing books, but not day one. I didn't feel confident right at the beginning. In fact, it's always funny, John, doing this presentation. I remember us being in a presentation with one of our board members, a guy called Henning Kargerman, and he was saying, now, guys, you know, I know you're all really clever. You know, they were all PhD physicists in those days. Just imagine there's a guy in Australia trying to figure out production variances. John, many of you, many of you may realize, is actually Australian. The first book to be written about production variances in SAP was by an Australian guy. So I figured we couldn't have done too bad a job. You know, we had actually made it comprehensible in Australia. So what I'm going to talk about for this session is really what we're doing in product costing, where it's going, to me, it's a really exciting time because, of course, there's the technology, the, there's the SAP S4. It's my job. I'm in development. We're developing that stuff. But I also like to take the time at these conferences, not just to give the answers. I don't actually have all the answers. It's just a myth. 